In right triangle RST, altitude TV is drawn to hypotenuse RS. All right, so let's try to draw the situation. So uh, TV is drawn to hypotenuse RS. So RS is the hypotenuse. And therefore, this T must be the right angle. And TV will form a right angle with the hypotenuse there because it's an altitude. So RSTV, okay. Uh, if RV is equal to 12 and RT is equal to 18, what is the length of SV? All right, so this is, once again, a uh, classic geometric mean question. Uh, and it is good to be familiar with this setup where if you have a right triangle where you draw an altitude from the, uh, the right angle to the hypotenuse, um, it turns out the altitude partitions the hypotenuse into some partition, doesn't matter what proportion it's broken up into, but the relationship is the partitions, the products of the partitions will always equal to the altitude squared and the value of C there, the length of the altitude, we refer to that as the geometric mean of the two numbers of A and B. So what we do uh, in this problem, we can apply this to help us out. We can also certainly set up a, a series of um, similar triangles, but I encourage you to try and apply this to, to maximize um, the use of this, this formula for these types of problems as these questions are designed for you to apply these concepts. Okay, so uh, let's call uh, VS here, let's call that B, and let's call TV here C, right? So what we know is 12 squared plus C squared is equal to 18 squared, right? I'm just going to write the um, write out the different relationships right now before I solve for what C is. We also recognize that 12 times B is equal to C squared, right? Our goal is to solve for SV, which is what I'm calling B. So wait a minute. In the second equation I wrote there, there are two unknowns. I can isolate C squared in the top equation right, so that I can eliminate that into the second equation. So 18 squared minus 12 squared is going to equal to C squared, right? Or you can think of it as C squared is equal to 18 squared minus 12 squared, whichever. And now I'm going to directly substitute that into the second equation. So I have 12 times B is equal to 18 squared minus 12 squared. And now I can solve for a b. b is equal to 18 squared minus 12 squared all over 12. And I can just enter that into the calculator and I can call it a day. So let's do that 18 squared minus 12 squared. That's 180 divided by 12. That's 15. So b is equal to 15. So that means SV is equal to 18. I'm sorry, 15. So that means it's option two.